The sand dollar is a fascinating marine organism that belongs to the class Echinoidea, which includes sea urchins and other related species. These creatures are often found along sandy ocean floors, particularly in shallow waters. Despite their name, sand dollars are not actually currency, but are rather echinoids, which are a type of marine invertebrate. Let's dive deeper into the world of sand dollars to understand their anatomy, habitat, life cycle, and ecological significance. Sand dollars are flat, disc-shaped creatures that resemble coins or tokens, which likely inspired their name. They are covered with tiny spines on their upper surface and have a smooth white underside. The spines aid in movement and provide protection from predators, while the smooth underside facilitates burrowing into sand. If you flip a sand dollar over, you'll notice a fascinating pattern of five radial sections, which are often likened to a flower or star shape. These sections are known as ambulacra and contain numerous small tube feet that the sand dollar uses for locomotion and feeding. Tube feet are essential in capturing food particles and transporting them to the sand dollar's mouth, located at the center of its underside. The size of sand dollars can vary significantly, with some species reaching diameters of up to four or five inches, while others are much smaller, around one inch or less. Their coloration also varies, ranging from pale white to yellow, brown, or even purple hues. These colors are often influenced by factors such as the species, age, and environmental conditions. Sand dollars are primarily found in shallow coastal waters around the world, typically in sandy or muddy substrates. They prefer areas with gentle currents that allow them to burrow into the sand and feed on organic matter. These habitats can include seagrass beds, intertidal zones, and sandy bottoms near coral reefs. They are commonly encountered in regions such as the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans, including the coasts of North and South America, Europe, Asia, and Australia. In some areas, sand dollars are abundant and serve as important components of marine ecosystems. The life cycle of a sand dollar involves several stages, beginning with the release of eggs and sperm into the water for external fertilization. This process typically occurs during specific times of the year, often in response to environmental cues such as water temperature and daylight hours. Once fertilized, the eggs develop into larvae known as echinoplutus, which are free swimming and drift with ocean currents. During this larval stage, the young sand dollars undergo significant transformations before settling to the ocean floor. As the larvae mature, they undergo a process called metamorphosis, during which they develop their characteristic flattened shape and begin to settle on the substrate. Once settled, they gradually transition into juvenile sand dollars and begin their life as bottom-dwelling organisms. Sand dollars are capable of regenerating lost body parts, a useful adaptation for survival in their dynamic marine environment. This ability allows them to recover from injuries or damage caused by predators or environmental factors. Sand dollars play several important roles in marine ecosystems. They are filter feeders, meaning they consume small particles of organic matter suspended in the water column. By doing so, they help maintain water quality by removing excess nutrients and detritus from the environment. Their presence also contributes to sediment stability, as their burrowing activities help aerate and mix sediments, which can benefit other organisms living in the same habitat. Additionally, sand dollars serve as a food source for various predators, including sea stars, crabs, and certain fish species, forming part of the marine food web. From an ecological perspective, sand dollars are indicators of ecosystem health. Changes in their populations or distributions can reflect broader environmental changes, such as shifts in water quality, habitat degradation, or climate-related impacts. Sand dollars have captured the interest of beachcombers and collectors due to their unique appearance and widespread availability in coastal areas. Beachgoers often find empty sand dollar tests, the skeletal remains, washed ashore, particularly after storms or rough seas. These tests are prized for their intricate designs and are commonly used in crafts, decorations, and jewelry. However, it's important to note that collecting live sand dollars directly from their natural habitats can have negative ecological consequences. Removing live specimens disrupts the local ecosystem and can impact populations, especially if done unsustainably. Responsible beachcombing 
involves appreciating and observing these creatures without causing harm to their populations or habitats. In some regions, sand dollars have also been studied for their potential biomedical applications. Researchers have explored their skeletal structures and unique properties for inspiration in materials science, drug delivery systems, and tissue engineering. While sand dollars are not typically targeted in commercial fisheries, they can face threats from habitat loss, pollution, climate change, and recreational activities. Coastal development, dredging, and pollution from land-based sources can degrade their habitats and impact water quality, indirectly affecting sand dollar populations. Conservation efforts aimed at protecting coastal ecosystems, reducing pollution, and promoting sustainable coastal management practices can benefit sand dollars and other marine organisms. Public awareness and education about the importance of these ecosystems and the need for responsible stewardship can also contribute to their conservation. In conclusion, sand dollars are fascinating marine creatures with unique adaptations and ecological significance. Their role in marine ecosystems, coupled with their aesthetic appeal to humans, highlights the importance of understanding and conserving these remarkable organisms for future generations to appreciate.